。奥雷伯曼，一位在中国工作的荷兰籍学者，今年上半年，奥雷伯曼从阿姆斯特丹出发，骑行至上海。他将自己这场历时一百五十六天、横跨一万零七百五十六公里的行程记录下来，并在上海展出。近日，他接受中新社东西问专访，分享自己一路上的所见所闻。I I think this may be a bit、uh, strange for many people because it's so easy to step on board of a plane and and、uh, in one day you are in the other world, right? But that's exactly also the problem. So、uh, if you always live Between A and B, and you only are in A or in B,、uh, you miss a lot of understanding of B. The cultural awareness can never be really strong if you just parachute it in another culture. So I wanted, at least once in my life, to go very slowly, leaving Europe, moving into Asia, then moving into China, and step by step understand what it takes or what it means. To be in the East. 一八七七年，德国地理学家里希霍芬将丝绸之路的概念引入大众视野。作为一名历史学家，奥雷伯曼规划了一条文化密度、历史浓度最高的路线，一路上途经十八个国家和地区。在他看来，这不仅仅是一次穿越国界的旅途，更是一条理解不同文化的对话之旅。So, so when you leave Holland and and entering Germany, there is already A certain difference.、Uh, it's the language, but it's also already a, a way of thinking that changes. When you when you enter Austria, the next country, you are even in a country that is called Aus- Austria, Ostenreich. It's the eastern country. It's only two con- two countries away. There they call themselves already Eastern, right? When you reach Turkey, you you change it completely. It's a new continent, Asia, but it's also a new religion. On many levels, the geography is contracting, but that doesn't mean that people in their mind are getting closer. The biggest change of mind I had was to shift from attention to borders to attention to common ground. I knew that I w- I would pass many borders: country borders, language borders, religious borders, cultural borders, historical borders. Uh, and that they are all important. But、uh, the more I came closer to the east, the more I also was impressed by the commonalities between both sides of borders, right? Between countries, between nations, between people, between communities. So increasingly, I became、uh, focused on、uh, what people share rather than what people divide. Borders are are. Are intent to divide, but、uh, on both sides of borders, people can have the same value system, the same aesthetical point of view, the same cuisine. Oliver Mann, born in Amsterdam, a German city, stood in the Holocaust war and fought in the Second World War, a city that was so close to the Second World War. This made him realize that peace was more important than war. In the 156 days of the Holocaust, he had to change his plans in order to change some of his activities. 也在沿途受到许多素昧平生的当地人的无偿帮助。漫长的旅程也让他认识到，和平不仅仅是通往进步的道路，更是生存的基石。Going on a cycling tour, I tasted all the local foods. I felt the heat. I felt the cold of European winter and Chinese summer. So these are all factual, and that's I think also why this is important because. Uh, we only can understand each other are based on facts. We are creating a dialogue here. When when、uh, you go on a horse or on a bicycle,、uh, there is no way to just take what you need and then go. Right? So you you have to interact with people. You have to be in dialogue with pe- with people. And、um, I think that's also the the Silk Road spirit,、uh, because、um, the history of Silk Road is obviously. Not just about give and take; it's about、uh, bringing and sharing, and、uh, defending, and cherishing, and negotiating, etc. So,、um, in the slow pace, there is time to、uh, exchange. Dialogue needs time, which I personally believe are also moments of peace, because peace requires dialogue. If you don't, if you don't listen to each other or don't don't interact with each other, 
it's very hard to understand and to accept other people's view. That's why a cup of tea together is almost like a small act of peace, right? because it allows you to talk. And if you talk, you understand the other better because you share the time. But if you no longer share, if you only point the finger, accuse, project, you, you, but you have no idea about the facts, then it's harder to keep the peace. Hoping is more than peace. Peace in Western languages is just a lack of violence, a lack of war. If there is no war, there is already peace. In Chinese language, peace is, is work, right? You, it's a creation. There is this rice plant and there is the mouth. So to bring rice and people together, and in Chinese, that's also the word for harmony, right? So these two words are full of action, are bringing things together and, and creating balance. It, it takes an effort to make and to keep peace. Uh, and this effort is actually what should inspire people. It's not boring, it's, it's beautiful, it's the best thing you can do.